Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we'll be solving lead code problem number eight, coin change two. In fact, this is one of the commonly asked interview pattern. So go through the problem very carefully and we have a dedicated telegram group where we'll be discussing similar problems. So do consider joining the telegram group. In this problem, we are given an array which actually indicates the denomination of the coin. For example, in this example, we have the denomination of one, two and five. And we are also given a target. The target is phi. So we have to use this denomination and form this phi. In this problem, we are asked how many ways can we form this phi? For example, what is the simplest way? We will use a coin of denomination phi. Now, we can also do it in three different ways. That is one, one, one and two. And also, we can do one, two, two. Then, is there any other way that this can be formed? Yes, right. This can be formed with all one coins. So these are the four ways that can be formed. One important observations that we have to make here is this two to one and one to one. All of them will be equal. That is the order of the coin doesn't matter. But the number of repetition of each denomination is just that what matters. And in this case, our answer will be four. Let's take another example where the target is three, but we just have denomination of two. So can three be formed? No, in this case, our answer will be zero. Sorry for the interruption, but I have a very quick announcement that we are conducting a binary search workshop on August 13. And in this workshop, we'll be discussing from the fundamentals of binary search to very advanced level in binary search. Not only we'll be discussing problems, but more importantly, we'll be discussing about problem patterns that get asked infrequently in interviews. So if you are someone who is interested in this workshop, I have mentioned the link in the description. Do consider joining the workshop. Let's look at the quick observations and the approach. The quick observation that we can draw here is say we want to use one denomination coin. If we use one denomination coin, what will happen to this problem? The main problem will get reduced to a problem of four and we will have similarly one to five denomination. That is the main problem is getting reduced to a sub problem. That is the key observation. Similarly, if we decide to use a coin of two, now it will become a similar sub problem of one, two, five. Now, this is a common mistake that people do and I have written the flow chart also. What we are doing here is we are subtracting one, we are subtracting two and we are subtracting five. That is all the coin denomination and then we are going through the ways. But this is a wrong way of looking at the problem. Why? Because in the problem, it is given that two, one, two and two, two, one are all same. Right. So if you go in this particular approach, this will actually give us two different option, which is wrong. So in order to avoid that, we have to take a very different approach. And in that different approach, what we'll be doing, say, for example, we have the denominations of one, two and five. So what we do, we decide to use one or not decide or we will choose not to use one. And once you decide not to use one, we are done with this. You can no longer use this and you just have to go to the next denomination. So let me take you through the flow chart. Now, if we decide to use one, what is the sub problem? The sub problem will be four. Why five get reduced to four and the index will be same here. This is the target and this will be the index. So what does this index mean? This index index means that is you can utilize all the coins from this point and forward for example in this case the index is one what does it mean it means you can only use two and five you can no longer use one so that is what we are doing in order to avoid repetition so this will be our new flowchart what we are doing the problem get reduced to four comma zero and five comma one because we decided not to use this similarly we are still using one 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 and and this will be our base case where the value get reduced to zero right similarly there will be many other cases but there will be no repetition in this case right now what is another observation that we can draw from this if you look here f of 3 comma 1 here also we have f of 3 comma 1 and if we still expand the 3 3 there will be many more repeating values and it is not so optimized way to recalculate this value right so one way is we can use a 2d matrix to store this right where we will be having coins on this side and we will be having the target on this side 
target will start from zero and it will go until six and this will be our coins and we'll be filling up the table accordingly whichever value you get if it is already there we'll be filling up those values in this particular table and finally we'll be returning the ultimate answer this is one way of doing this but is there a better approach yes there is a better approach and that approach is bottom up approach why are we using this there are two things one is we don't want to use a two dimensional array and we just want to use a one dimensional array and in this top down approach what we are doing we are splitting up on multiple branches and multiple branches are actually not so most of them will actually become useless because sometimes we will go to negative value and hence the better approach is we will be starting from the bottom that is we will starting filling from the this side and we'll go to the top so what is the key idea let me explain the key idea say our target is still five and we have the coins one two and five now let's just pick up one denomination we are considering this index just the coin two so what we will be looking we will be looking the number of ways that three can be formed how many number of ways that three can be formed it can be formed in two ways so now how many ways can phi be formed just by using the coin two it can just be formed using two ways right what we are doing the target is phi but we have just the coin of two so what we'll look we will look at how many ways phi minus whichever coin we have how many ever ways that was formed we will just add it to the particular value the already existing value so this will be our formula dp of i equals already existing value plus dp of i minus whichever coin we have now so let me give you one more example say we want to do h and we have a coin of three we have a coin of three and we are just going through this value so how many ways eight can be formed using this coin so we will look at five how many ways five can be formed we will just add it to this right so let me start filling up this table and this will be our base condition that is dp of zero equals one that will be our base condition so how many ways can one be formed using this formula what it will do whatever is the existing value that is zero and we will look at zero it will be one so one these two will again look at this one how many ways one can be formed so we can just add one all over now we will go to the second coin once we go to the second coin we'll start from this because for these two it won't make sense now for this two what we will do we can directly use this coin that is we will look at dp of zero and we will add to this now again this three what we'll be doing three minus two whatever is that this will be adding to this will be adding to this similarly dp of four again we'll be looking at two now two can be formed in two different ways so we'll be adding two to this so it will become three and five will look at three and it will become three finally we will go to the last denomination that is five and we'll start from here because for all of this it doesn't make sense so we can directly start from here and it will look at zero that is it can be formed in one way and we will change this to one, four and finally we are done with all the coins and we'll return this value so what is the pseudocode what is that we did we first initiated a dp array and the initial value or our base condition now for every coin for every coin we are going through all the values and updating this values using this formula now we need not go through all the values you just have to travel from the coin value to the end and finally we will be returning dp of j and there are a few similar problem and this is a similar pattern that get asked in interviews and these are the similar problem and do consider uh, joining our telegram group i have mentioned the link in the description thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe